All right, groove it or lose it, seasonal championship. Thank you for tuning in. Smoke screen here. Uh, Hidden Horizons and Spring Season. Okay, reward as we can see, charge of 69 Dodge. Decades car restriction is 1970s. Uh, optional is what we're looking at. This is sort of what's in my garage, what I can pull from. Uh, we're gonna actually run with a uh, 1970. Uh, GT uh, Ford. Location for the Grand Chest de Tapala is just here, of course. All right, well, let's load this one up, see where the actual race locations are initially. One, two, and three. What are we racing against? Ah, uh, there's the Porsche. We were going to pick a Porsche, but then I chose against it. But we've got one of each car here, almost. I think we do. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, I'd never actually tuned the GT70 up, uh, 1970s model. So we haven't found a tune. We'll see how this fares. Yeah, the number five Escort would have been a great option. But... You know, GT70, as mentioned, I'd never run that before. We will uh, give that a run. We're running a rally, rally, all wheel drive. for the GT70, but uh, we'll see. It may shine at some point. Okay. I would dare say the Porsche is going to be the number one. Escort. Overtake. Yeah, the acceleration on this one is not great. Not an instant acceleration that I'm used to, I suppose, for better word. Well, that's all good. By the way, we'll see how this car fares, and if not, uh, we'll have another coat at the front for another car, just as the backup. Get traction. We don't have time to spin our tyres. On paper, the tune looked great for this car. Could also be the event itself uh, isn't as well um, suited, but maybe the next event will be better for it. You know what? Blue got the points. It's all good. Respectable sixth. We'll see what the next race holds. 
First place, Corvette. Ah, the Corvette, yeah, powerhouse Corvette. Third was the uh, Porsche. Okay. I should have gone the Corvette. So Corvette Stingray is what uh, seems to be the winning uh, combo. We'll find a tune for one of them as well uh, and put that at the front. Coast run. Okay. Not too many sharp turns. But uh, again, see how we fare. The Reliant Robin would be definitely a hand for the race in this. Fairing a little better. If you get a good start, then it's always puts you in good steed for the race. That's one golden rule, that's for sure. You know what, it's a three-wheeler reliant, it's not going to be easy to manage at the best. But, the outcome is it has definitely um, dumped us. Okay. Yeah, I reckon the Corvette is going to be the go-to car for this. So I'm going to also try and find a tune for that beast. And we'll have that up on the front of the video as well. I mean, this one is going to get us through. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's the best option. Thank you, car. It just doesn't have the acceleration where we need it. it definitely is more of that long, slow and steady would, uh, would get you there. Start. Okay. That's Corvette at the front. Corvette at the front, Corvette 70. So we're going to put a uh, throw a share code up for a good tune code for a Corvette 70 at the front. The GT70, it got us there. All right, it got us there. I'll put the tune up that I used for that, but in fairness, the Corvette. That's what you want to be racing. All right. Uh, thank you, Blue Team, as well, uh, for the racing. And thank you for watching, if you've watched this far. 
uh, do hit my channel for the other seasonals and of course custom event maps as always uh, for our prize there is our Charger RT and um, hopefully you have a great weekend I'll see you in the next uh, next video then alright have a great day catch ya